It's been a while since I showed you how to scrape any website with AI and no code, but that method's pretty outdated now. Today, I'm going to show you something way better. How to use Firecrawl, an open source API to scrape any website and turn it into clean, large language model ready data in just a few steps. For those who do not know, Firecrawl is an AI web scraping app. And all you need to do is just simply paste in a URL and it will automatically crawl all accessible subpages and give you clean markdown or structured data, which is perfect for AI agents, RAG pipelines, or any large language model app. And just recently, Firecrawl dropped version 2.5, which makes this process insanely powerful. It's being called the world's best web data API and for a good reason. First, Firecrawl version 2.5 introduces a custom browser stack that detects how each page is rendered, even dynamic JavaScript heavy pages, PDFs, and tables, and extracts complete high quality data, not just partial content. Secondly, you have it so that it adds semantic index that stores page embeddings and metadata. So you can pull data as of now or from a previous known version, giving you full control over how fresh your scraped data is. Together, these upgrades make Firecrawl the easiest and most reliable way to scrape the web data that you're looking for, and you can do it all with no code required. In this video, I'll showcase how you can set this up, scrape any real website, and export the results as structured large language model ready data that you can feed directly into your AI apps or chatbots. One of the easiest ways to get started with Firecrawl is just simply using it off of their cloud service. This is where you can go over to the website link that I'll leave in the description below, paste in any URL link. In this case, I am pasting in my newsletter link. And what you can now do is simply scrape it by pasting in the URL. You also have it so that you can search the web and get full content from results. You can map it out. You can even crawl it. In this case, since I have provided the link, I can click on start scraping and it's going to be able to start scraping the newsletter blog that we have in Markdown. You can see that it also gives you an option to access it via JSON. And what's nice is that Firecrawl is something that you can access as an API so you can have it hosted or used locally. You can even run this locally like I had mentioned and you can do this by getting the SDK implemented or working with different large language models. You also have it so that you can work with it through an MCP server. This is something where you will have Firecrawl's powerful web scraping and data extraction capabilities directly accessible to AI models and development environments. This is through the support of Model Context Protocol, which is something that you might have heard. It's an open protocol by Anthropic. And this is essentially where it's going to easily feed data to your large language model easier. So instead of manually calling the API or writing custom requests, this MCP integration is going to let your AI agent or coding assistant use Firecrawl natively as a tool within its reasoning process. And this is what we're going to be showcasing how to set up so that you can scrape and crawl any website directly through your AI assistant. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. But what's nice is that the Firecrawl MCP works with various sorts of environments like Cursor, VS Code, Vinsurf. You can have it integrated into so many different sorts of apps and agents like Claude Code, you have Claude Desktop, Nathan, and so many others. Just make sure you have a Firecrawl account and generate an API key, which you can do completely for free. They give you free credits to get started. And once you get your API key, you can keep this on the side and then you can install the MCP server directly with your API key. So in this case, if you're running on cursor, you can add to cursor by opening it up directly within the actual IDE. And you can see that it has already designated the Firecrawl MCP's requirements within the fields name. I just need to provide my API key. Once I paste it, I can then click on install, which will install the Firecrawl MCP with cursor. And after providing your API key, you'll see that the six tools are now enabled. This is where you can now scrape. You can use the maps feature the search feature, crawl, and etc. And within the AI chat, 
This is where your AI agent will be able to reference the Firecrawl MCP to do any of these features, like scraping a website. So we can say something like scrape the Firecrawl docs on the MCP configuration and using the Firecrawl MCP. And now what we can do is send in this request to the AI agent that's powered by the MCP server, which you can see right here that it is working on. And you can then have it so that it is going to run the MCP server and then have it scrape the contents and then output it in a structured format, in this case as Markdown. And there we go. We have it outputted now as Markdown and it's something that will be saved on our local computer. That's how easy it is to use this MCP and how you can scrape almost anything. In the same manner, it works with something like Kilo Code, which is an AI agent that you can access through VS Code. And in this case, you can head over to the MCP server tab and you can edit the global MCP and you can add in the MCP server over here by simply having it so that you can copy the configurations to run this on VS Code and then paste in your API key over here so that you can access it through something like Kilo Code. So to skip some time, I simply had requested the composer agent within cursor to scrape the docs file and I had used the Firecrawl MCP to do so. But I also requested it to structure it within a JSON file, which it did quite rapidly. And you can see that it is structured properly like we had requested. But now what I can do is send in the generate a large language model text file from firecrawl.dev in short version. And essentially, this is a prompt that will automatically generate a large language model file for a website which will define how its content should be formatted and structured for AI models. In short, it is something that will create a set of machine-readable instructions that makes the site's data large language model friendly. It is going to be clean, organized, and context-rich with a text output that's ideal for AI training, RAG, or any sort of documentation purpose. Now you can review this and you can actually keep it. And this is where you can save the changes of what it was able to do with the Firecrawl MCP. Something you can also do is use the Firecrawl map feature with the MCP, where you can automatically explore and map an entire website, which reveals the full structure and all connected pages. This is gonna be perfect for creating complex site inventories, uncovering orphaned or hidden pages, and understanding complex hierarchies without manually clicking through links. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's how you can easily scrape any website using Firecrawl. This is a powerful, versatile tool that transforms the way you access and use web data. And by turning any website into large language model ready structured context, it is going to remove the complexity of traditional web scraping. And it's going to enable AI applications to consume clean, organized, and formative data. Now, this is something that also is where you can access the Firecrawl version 2.5, which is the world's best web data API. And it's going to drastically improve all operations from scraping, crawling, mapping, or just powering extraction. It's something that I highly recommend that you take a look at, especially with this new update with the links in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Make sure you go ahead and join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the main channel. Make sure you go ahead and take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, dogs.